and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Denmark and yeah I can hear you thinking of all places <laughs> how did you end up in Denmark so uh, let me talk to you a little bit further about that later so I don't know if I'm uh, making the right choice here to go up this hill it's the first time I'm here and the wind is ridiculous <laughs> you know <laughs> I've been through a lot but uh, they actually predicted hurricane speeds, so uh, yeah, let's see uh, if we can manage to get some nice shots. And first of all, I hope you can hear me right, because there's a lot of wind. It's coming from the back, so hopefully it's not going straight into the microphone. So I hope you are getting this wind. It's absolutely ridiculous. But just look behind me, you know. I was sitting at the accommodation that I booked for this week and I was thinking, settle down on the couch, watch the quarterfinals of the European Championship, the Netherlands against Turkey. And it was raining all trip towards here. And then I just sat down on the couch and I saw some beautiful light appearing. Just look at it. And I thought to myself, there are a couple of locations pretty close by. And one of them is this one. But with this wind, oh my God. I'm just gonna see if I can shoot anything here, but it's gonna be difficult, I can tell you that. So one of the shots that uh, Mats Peter Iverson shot here is actually this tree, I hope you can see it, with that path leading towards it. But it's actually the wrong side. The beautiful light is over on that side. So that is a sunrise location. So I have to remember that. It's pretty close to where I'm staying this week. So I might get back for this shot. Looks uh, pretty epic, but I'm just gonna look for some shots for myself. <laughs> There's a very large rabbit running around here. Or is it, it's actually a deer with some nice light on it. So let me try to photograph it <laughs> with this wind. So. Uh, let me let me do some uh, some attempts here so in fact it was a deer i don't know in, in the corner of my eye i thought it was a rabbit but it was a deer but of course the moment i cut the camera it ran off but just look on that those two trees that i can see on the slope of that hill right over about there a bit like that i have to stand like this because else the wind will blow straight into the microphone so i hope you're hearing me but there is some beautiful light on that tree and just a minute ago some rain came down there illuminated by that setting sun over there creating this magical atmosphere uh, in that shot over there so just taking it and i have to shoot it with a very very high aperture of uh, iso and a low aperture uh, just to make sure that those leaves are frozen you know it's there's so much wind so it's very difficult maybe the shot is going to turn out completely crap but with conditions like this clouds coming over you get some ridiculously good light so there's still an hour left so hopefully i can find a nice composition but i already took a shot of this one uh, with the 100 to 400 so a bit of a telephoto shot and let's just see if i can find something in this area but it it looks promising you know these hills here this is something we don't have much in the netherlands so i'm happy that i'm out here So I walked down from the hill on that side, you can see it, I came from up there, went back down and now I'm walking up another hill, but this is the, the shade side of the hill. So there's no light here, but there's also not as much wind as on the other side. So I can do a little bit of talk to you. How do I end up in Denmark? Well, it's actually very simple. Uh, I've been here many, many times. My wife is half Danish, half Dutch. So over the past 20 years, I've been here countless times. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> uh, count how many times it was. You know, maybe 20, 30 times, something like that. But uh, I've been here for parties, weddings, uh, funerals, 
unfortunately, but never for photography, you know. And uh, with this YouTube channel, sometimes you just need a new area, a new inspiration. And Denmark is a bit similar to the Netherlands, but uh, also very different. So that's why I wanted to try here. And luckily, I had some help from uh, from Matt. So uh, really appreciate it. If you watch this match, thank you very much. And uh, I even tried doing a collaboration video with him when he wasn't in the country. So <laughs> that was uh, unfortunate. But uh, yeah, let me get up here. I really have to do something about my oh, condition. <laughs> so yeah, right on the other side. Maybe you can see it in the back on that hill. That's actually the highest point of Denmark. The Himmelbjerg. Probably not pronouncing it right, but I've been there a couple of times in the past and I know how that looks and just want to explore some new areas that I don't know. So get some breath and get up there before that sun is gone. So I'm finally up this hill. And look at that, the sun is behind those clouds at the moment and all of that dark clouds full of rain is coming this way. So I don't know this, I don't think there's any use of me waiting here. So I do have a good feel about this area, you know, that's what my main goal was. And of course I was hoping to get a nice shot, but yeah, you can never count on it, you know. So. Hopefully it worked and got that shot with the trees, looks pretty nice. And what I was actually thinking about that shot that uh, I was talking about from Matt with that little tree, I actually noticed that if you get a large telephoto, you can get it from up here also, which might look really nice. So let me just get an image so you can see what the thought process is here. And my idea is that if you come here at sunrise, the sun will rise from the back, illuminating everything in the back there. So it might be a good point here to go back to in the morning and then shoot towards this uh, path with that tree on top of that hill. I think it's, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. So let's look at the hair, man. This is what they call a bad hair day. <laughs> so I'm taking this shot, showing you, and then I'm probably gonna return at least get back into that forest before that rain is hitting because up here whew, pretty exposed pretty exposed up here So I'm walking down this hill and just look at this shot over here. So I'm not taking an image here because there's no light, but just a couple of minutes ago, the light was fantastic from the other side of this tree here. And look at this, with this leading path up to this beautiful tree up here. Let's put it in the frame. That would have been a cracker shot, you know, but I'm just half an hour too late, but there's no problem. I'm here the whole week. So uh, I might get back here definitely remembering this so I have one sunset side and a sunrise side on that side so I can go two ways here so that's what I'm looking for when I'm out here in these crazy conditions so I'm back at the car as you can see and uh, it's total total crazy weather you know it's been a long time ago since I photographed in so much wind absolute crazy so uh, for these, this location here in the middle of a forest just isn't the right conditions, you know. If you're at the coast, you can shoot waves and all that, that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm in the middle of Jutland, so the coast is about an hour away from here. So I'm never going to make that with a bit of weather uh, and some good light. So I'm going back home. It's uh, about half time now in the yeah, quarterfinal of the European Cup. So I can probably watch the second half. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, 
I can say that we've reached the final, you know. It's, it's looking good for the Orange Army. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on the road and uh, hopefully some more luck in the rest of the week. So yesterday we had this enormous storm passing by and I just completely blew away. You've seen that in the beginning of this video. But today it started with rain, rain, rain and lots of more rain. So the whole day just completely uh, washed away. And right now I'm just driving around trying to get to know the area that I'm in, trying all these roads. And the funny thing is that every now and then in Denmark it's much easier than in the Netherlands to encounter some wildlife. You know, some deers and just a minute ago there was a buzzard sitting on the road and it flew off when I approached it with the car. But it landed in a tree here. So I took a lot of photographs of it and I was determined to stay here until it would fly away to catch an image where it was flying off. And then at one point I was thinking, hey, let's put the camera in movie mode so I can make a little movie for you to show the buzzard. But of course, exactly at the moment I turned the switch, the buzzard flew off. So uh, yeah, this is the shot. And in about half an hour, some more rain is predicted. So hopefully uh, tomorrow there is a chance, small chance of a little bit of fog. So hopefully uh, that will save the week. And hopefully at the end of the week, I will be able to do a little bit more. But uh, yeah, these first two days weren't uh, that promising. So uh, yeah, there's one thing that I learned from all of this is always to just keep going. You know, eventually something interesting will happen like this buzzard or yeah, whatever. So uh, just keep going like I'm doing right now. So I had a lot of plans this week to do uh, photography every morning, every evening. But there's one thing that I noticed, yeah, being out here in Denmark, is that it's almost impossible for me at the moment to do a sunset and a sunrise after each other. You know, with the sunrise at 4.45, most of the interesting areas are about 30, 30 to 40 minutes driving, which basically means that I have to get up at 3.30 and sunset is at 10 p.m. at night. So it leaves just a little gap of sleep. And I don't know if I told before on this channel over the past two months, but uh, over the past two months, I have been absolutely so tired that I just, I don't know what it is, but I just can't handle <laughs> doing a back-to-back -back sunset sunrise at the moment even when i'm sleeping in the day it's uh, i don't know what it is if i'm sitting behind my computer editing videos my eyes just close you know so i kind of chose to stick to the sunrises because there's the biggest chance of fog and today there was some fog predicted but I think the temperature just didn't drop enough, you know. I found this beautiful lake here in the middle of the forest. 
lots of lily pads here in front. But I don't know. <laughs> Without fog, it's going to be quite difficult here. So uh, let's see if we can find something interesting. A couple of islands here in the middle. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make the best of it. So it's actually a rather nice forest here also just next to this lake with some gnarly shaped trees but without that atmospherical fog or at least a little bit of light it's just way too uh, complicated to find a composition in here so I'm, I'm a bit unlucky this week with the weather so the first night we had this extreme storm passing over and I just couldn't take any images then the second day completely rained away now there was some fog predicted and I've got absolutely nothing, so yeah, difficult, difficult, but I'm always the optimist, might not always seem uh, like that on this channel, but I always find something, so let's see if we can uh, find something interesting to show you. So I finally seem to found a composition here and it's not even at the lake what I was actually thinking about but I just found this piece of woodland here let me turn the camera a little bit so you can take a look along with me what I'm trying to <laughs> photograph here so you can see that all those trees here these, these are real gnarly shaped trees which I always find particularly interesting but in this forest without all this fog it's quite difficult to get some separation between those trees and the background but at the moment there is a whole bunch of green so these uh, trees over here are situated on a hill and what I'm actually using as a backdrop is the canopy of the trees behind it because they are in a more of a valley like area so and that creates a little bit of separation so I'm not having all those disturbing tree trunks in the back I'm just using that that leaf area uh, on top so I think this this might work and it's it's a bizarrely busy image with branches going everywhere but I think it works. I think it works. So let me show you this shot and uh, hopefully you agree. Let me know in the comments what you think of this shot. So there are two tricks that I use to approach a scene like this. Uh, first of all, what I told you, actually three tricks, is look for trees on a slope so you can get rid of that background. Uh, second, keep the aperture as low as possible. The only thing you want in focus are those trees and everything in the back you don't want in focus. So I'm shooting it with the 12 to 40 2.8 at f2.8 just to get that shallow depth of field in this image. And the second is overexpose a little bit, especially when you don't include the sky. Uh, like in this frame, I can, uh, I'm shooting to the canopy behind, so there's no sky coming through. If you overexpose it a little bit, those dark trees will stay dark. So you get much more feeling of those silhouette trees here in the foreground. So these are two 
three tricks that I use in woodlands without any fog. Hopefully they paid off. Let me know. So this is the end of today's video. Uh, I hope you liked it. And I think today shows that going to an area that you don't know on holiday or whatever, it's never easy. You know, it's never like I'm going to go there and take that shot. It's never that way. Uh, it's always a bit of a struggle. But in the next video that you're going to see, I'm going to explain to you how I approach a scene like this and how you can make it easier for yourself. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you still liked the images that I took in this video. There weren't much, but yeah, at least it was something. And I hope to see you on the next video. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you on that one. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and push that like button and leave a comment. I always like to engage with anybody watching uh, this channel. And I hope to see you next week. And I promise you that is going to be one cracker of a video. See you then. Bye bye.